Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again, Jamie Muhirwa here. Today, we are going to continue with the Hebrew alphabet, the power of Hebrew. We have seen so far the following Hebrew alphabets. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, He, Vav, Zion, Chet, Tet, Yod, and Half. Today, we are going to see Lamed. Lamed is the 12th Hebrew alphabet and it has value 30. It's written like this Lamed or Lamed. Lamed self, Mem, and Dalet. Lamed is the tallest or longest Hebrew alphabet because it goes from all the top to the bottom. As you can see here, it goes from the top to the bottom. It is a symbol of loyalty or the heart because it is in the center of the Hebrew alphabet, the 22 Hebrew alphabet. All right? It tells us how to connect to God. How do we connect to God? First of all, we connect to God through the Word of God, the Scriptures, and by knowing Christ. Christ who is the way, the truth, and life. That's how we connect with God. Also, Lame tells us about learning and teaching. What does it mean? The best way to learn is to teach. That's how you learn better. And also, it tells us how to know God better. If you want to know God better, what do you do? You see and look around what God created. Then you can start understanding things through your senses. Remember, the scriptures tells us, if your senses cause you to sin, what do you do? Cut them off. But you don't, you don't cut your ear or your eye. You don't take your eye out. That means just don't look or do not listen. That's what it means. Alright? Next. Lamed, being the tallest, tells us about the distance between the head and the heart. This is the longest distance in the world. If you may be asked what's the longest distance in the world, it's between the head and the heart. Because the head is pulling its way and the heart is doing the same, pulling its way as well. So it's very hard to match the two, what the Christ call moving mountains. Moving mountains is when According to the Gospel of Thomas, I don't, I don't know if you've heard about the Gospel of Thomas. It's very well explained how you move mountains. So if you really want to move mountains, anything you're going to deal with, you have to marry both the mind and the heart, the emotion and the thoughts. So if you can manage to put them together, bring together your emotions and your thoughts then you can bring them together you can move mountains that's how you can resolve any problem that can come your way this is what all of us many of us fail to fulfill because the christ himself knows how hard it is once we can figure out how to bring together our thoughts and our emotions and map them together there's nothing we can do. Thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.